All right. Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, also known as Great Babylon, also known spiritually as Sodom and Egypt. First off, we like to give all praises to the Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Also, we love to give double honors to our apostle elders of GMS that rule well. Greetings and salutations to all you Akiyam throughout the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and sincerity, man. Right. What you're doing is help bring the further destruction of this white man's society. That's right. right. These so-called crackers that walk around proud Looking, looking at us like this is a show, man. Your kingdom is coming to an end. That's right. right. And that's why we come out here week in and week out, man, to tell you people that. Why? Because the Lord set us up to be the watchtower, the so-called <clears throat> watchmen that were back in the ancient times. They sat upon the towers to let the people know uh, violence and war was coming. And that's what we've been set up to do. But due to the white man's uh, 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 mind manipulation, two-thirds of our people are uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They don't even hear us, man. We telling them war coming, but they walking around nonchalant, nonchalant. Like we speak in Portuguese or some shit. This is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. Right, and the scriptures tell you that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 10, times brighter than the sun, man. And his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom. What is the sinful kingdom? <clears throat> America. Why? Because everywhere you look, man, there's nothing but sin around you, man. And what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. The laws are the heavenly father. Everywhere you walk, everywhere you stand, everywhere you look, it's nothing but sin, man. And that's why the eyes of the Lord are upon this place. Let's hear why. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Right. The Lord right. said he's going to destroy this wicked ass place, America, off the face of the earth. And all you shitheads walking around nonchalant like you don't see it. Your ass gonna be annihilated within it, man. That's right. That's right. <clears throat> and we can give two shits about it. Why? Because the Lord set us out here to warn you and you didn't take you didn't take all uh, forbearance of it, man. So the hell that's coming is just upon you wicked ass people, man. Every week we come out here, man, it hurt us to our stomach, man, and look at you people. Why? Cause you empty, you empty, man. Why? Because you don't have the book of life in you, man. You're just an empty vessel walking around that's waiting to be destroyed. Got asshole just walking around. Like this asshole walking with his hand down. He don't know where he's going. He's just walking, man. We telling you where you're going. You're going into the lake of fire. That's, that's right. right. Uh, Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Right, now the house of Jacob are the twelve tribes of Israel. But not all you pieces of shit, man. Only one third of them. Why? Because only one third of them going to hearken to the word of the Lord. That's right. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 6. My people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. Right, their shepherds have caused them to go astray. And that's going all the way back into the ancient times. Even when our, when, when our deliverer was on the scene, man, the people were causing the people to go astray. Why? Because they were not proclaiming and professing that our Savior has come in the flesh, man. And you fast forward to now, we had the same things going on, man. And how do you not profess that? He is our Lord and Savior by calling that him outside of his name. Calling him Jesus or thinking he looks like this image over here, man. That's how they crucified our Lord. Read up. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill. Right. Our nation has gone from a mountain to a hill, man. In the scriptures, those mountains and hills are parabolic 
for our, uh, our, our communities or our, our, our nations. That, that hill is, is a small uh, 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 resemblance of a nation, man. That mountain is what we were when we were living in the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. We have been reduced to a hill now. Read. They have forgotten their resting place. Come. We've forgotten their resting place. This is not our rest. Yeah, you dumbass people, the, the people of our nation. We don't give a shit about you, you, you other heathens, man. You crackers, you fucking Africans. But this word is not for y'all, man. But two thirds. No pictures, no pictures. But two thirds of the people of our nation, they have forgotten their resting place, man. And if you refuse to come back to the knowledge of your resting place, this will be your resting place. In, the, in this nuclear uh, fire bloodbath, man. That's right. What? This will be your resting place. Read up. And that all that found them have devoured them. Come. All that found us have devoured us. All the other nations, man. Like it says in Psalms 83, they have a uh, uh, decree, to, decree, man, to, to destroy us, man, as a people. To make us forget our heritage. And their adversaries said, we offend not. Right. Adversaries say they offend not. And, and we seeing that. It's so like it with the Michael Brown case, man. With all these niggas getting shot down and these crackers not even going to trial about it. It used to be, at least with Rodney King, they went to trial. Or, Mc, or, the, uh, or the McDuffie riots, they at least went to trial. Now they like, fuck you niggas, man. We're going to blow your brains out and not even get indicted for it. That's right. And you can't blame them. Why? Because that's Esau's job. You so-called white people, that's your job. To be the destroyers of the earth. And you've right. done a damn good job. You've done a damn good job of destroying this earth. That's right. But contrary to what you believe, there is a most high power. Which we praise and we worship, man. And soon he coming back to destroy this place. Right. Go ahead. Finish on that up. Because they have sinned against the Lord. Right. And that's the reason we going through this. Because we sinned against the Lord, man. It's not because you, you other nations are mightier than us. Especially you fucking Edomites, man. You the basis of man. Right. The habitation of justice, even the Lord, the hope of their fathers. I'll sit on that. This is Hosea 4 and 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Right, the Lord got a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. What's that controversy? None do it right, man. Nobody but the righteous men that he set up. And Lord willing, we part of that number. But you are the people you refuse to do right. Speaking to two-thirds of, of the nation of Israel, you refuse to do right, man. That's why the Most High got a controversy with you motherfuckers, man. Right. Read. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Right. There's no truth and knowledge or mercy of the, of the Most High man in this land. And we standing up here to bring it out and nobody paying attention. But it's okay. Why? Because it's been prophesied. That's why, man. We up. Start back here. Hosea 4 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Right, the inhabitants of the land that he's talking about are the Israelites, the 12 tribes, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right. He's telling you to hear the word. He's not going to open up the sky and start talking to you dumbasses. He's going to set up his men throughout the four corners of the earth so you can hear his word. And what is his word? This holy Bible. 
No pictures. No pictures. Thank you. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. By swearing and lying, and killing and stealing, and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Come. Therefore shall the land mourn, and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. Right. Everyone that dwelleth in the land shall languish, man. Why? Because you don't understand that there's a higher power, man. And you need to understand the knowledge of the higher power. You need to understand his thoughts, man. Why? Because they're written in the Holy Scriptures. But you people will not hear, man. Okay, yeah, yeah. With the beasts of the field and with the fires of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. God. Because this everything, everything that you see is defiled, man. These trees, these people walking around, everything, the, the land is defiled. Nothing can be built upon this place, man. So therefore, the most high have to destroy it, man. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them. Right. Not, not to these fucking heathens, man. We sent out here to speak to our nation. We also sent to condemn the other nations, but our purpose is to wake up the elect men of Israel. That's what we are here for. Not as a show. Not to look like we the ancient men. No, we out here to speak the most high word. We not here. We not out here for our will. We out here for the Abba's will, the Father's will, man. Abba Ratazza. Right. Read. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech. Huh? Just like I said, we not sent to a people of strange speech. Read. And of a hard language, but to the house of Israel, not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language. Whose words thou cannot understand. Uh, Surely had I sent thee unto them, they would have hearkened unto thee. And that's a damn shame, man. Because a lot of times, a lot of people that come up here interested in this knowledge, man, are heathens, man. And they understand it and accept it. More so than you, you dumbass, two third ass niggas, man. Wet backs. And you featherheads, man. And that's a damn shame because this word ain't for them, man. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are imputed and hard-hearted. Right, imputed and hard-hearted, man. I mean, you hard-headed and you don't, you lack understanding, man. Behold, I have made thy face strong against, strong against their faces. Right, our stronger, our face is strong against your faces, man. That's why we come out here in complete boldness. Right. And no matter what you say, you can't confound what, what what's what's up here, man. Why? Because it's not a man. It's set up by the most high. That's right. right. The average Jake ain't coming out here, man, to, to stand up for his Lord. Why? Because he's been effeminized by this fucking cracker, this fucking white man, this fucking Edomites. This Proverbs 28, verse 1. The wicked flee when no man pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Huh. And we bold as lions coming out here telling these fucking the, our oppressor, the so-called white man, that his kingdom is going down. And we don't give a fuck what you do and how you feel about it. That's being bold as a lion. 